I'm, I'm, I really want to go back and look at practice scripts. I want to see what we did to see where did we, and, and, and I'm talking about going practice scripts uh, from a year ago, and see how much less throwing we did in practice. Uh, but it doesn't feel that way to me. Uh, I've been, the short answer, or the, my knee-jerk answer to the question is that Kevin wasn't there for training camp. Because in the spring game, or not, not the spring game, the fall scrimmage, you know, that leads up to your, to your season, the kind of dress rehearsal, if you will, uh, we threw the ball better than we had in any dress rehearsal previous in my first two years. And Rich, it was Richard, but we threw, you know, I think three touchdown passes and over 200 yards and well over 60% completion percentage. I'm, I, I can, I've looked at that tape. Uh, so where did that, where did that go? Was it by just letting Kevin get back in there and maybe that was a mistake or, uh, or was it, in, that those are the things I, I've got to get my finger on. Did you ever at any point in the season call him out and say, what, what, are, what are we missing, what are we not doing right? Or, or? Yeah, and we actually uh, went and saw him. And had a couple of coaches go and say hello when we had a bye. When was uh, Prior to the uh, Washington game. And, and what, what was you know, they, they, they say we're on the right track, you know, they're, they're good guys and they're not going to mislead us. They say we're light years ahead of where they were when they started. Unfortunately, we're in a kind of a time crunch. <laughs> we want to get this thing going fast. And so those are, those are some of the issues that we've got. Who did you sign up with? Hmm? Who went out there? Uh, Norm and uh, Wayne and Bob. You watch them play uh, Cap, you watch Nevada play Boise, and it just looks like the difference is Cap on it. He's so good. It, is that what it's all about ultimately? And, you know what? You may, you, you may be exactly right. I think, it, I think that clearly is the straw that stirs the drink with this offense. And you have to have that, that piece. That's from where I sit now. Uh, again, there will be some real analysis given to this. But we do have, before I finish that, but we do have a thousand yard back right now, you know, which we didn't. So there are some positives. How do we now get, if you don't have the four or five guy that can run around the edges, who happens to be six five, whatever Colin is, uh, if you don't have that guy, how, how else do you make that position work with the throw game and so forth? So it, it's still a work in progress, unfortunately. And, and, you know, as you're going through tough times and having disappointed fans and disappointed uh, uh, coaches and players, you have to you have to find answers and you gotta find them quick. Are you still looking for that type of guy in recruiting? Uh, we're always looking for the best athletes in recruiting, always. Coach, we've heard a lot. Go ahead. I've, uh, this is, I think, now my 11th year as a head football coach. And eight of them I've gone to postseason. This is the third time I've not gone to postseason. And each of those three is immensely difficult. Uh, having, feeling like you're getting over the hump a year ago, uh, to take a step back uh, and, and to it is, is also difficult. So this is, uh, this is trying. But for those of us who like challenges, this is, uh, this is a great one. And uh, I'm committed as I've ever been. And got more energy and resolve than I've ever had. And I'm anxious to get going. And those who will come along for the ride will be rewarded because it's going to be a great, great finish. You hear a lot about the value of, of all practices. What's the biggest thing this team is going to lose by not having those 15 extra days? The opportunity for all these young kids to continue to get better. I mean, we had a number of young players play this year. We have uh, nine or ten others that are redshirt uh, that really could have used more practice. Uh, but if there's such a thing as a silver lining in this kind of disappointment, many of the people wouldn't have been able to because they're injured. I mean, they, 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 there wouldn't have been any extra practice for Pat Lerner or. Go down the list of all the guys who 
it just so uh, the people who would have been able to, because of the departure of all them, have gotten lots of practice. Even though it's SC week, you know, the disappointment of Friday, you think it's going to be hard to get these guys focused on this? Not game? at all, Joe. This is this is that game that uh, conjures up great focus. That conjures up great, I shouldn't say great focus, I should say it conjures up great emotion and great uh, uh, anticipation. It's vital that you channel that into great focus. That's how you play well in these games. Uh, a year ago, we played with great emotion. We played with uh, uh, great passion. We had some guys who weren't quite ready for that and didn't know how to stay in the moment and play the defense or play the offense. And, and, and we made some mistakes, which ultimately cost us the game. It was not nearly as one-sided as 28-7, might have you believe. But it was 14-7 late in the game. We had a chance to stop them on third and five and came out of coverage. And, you know, uh, the rest of the game uh, is, you know, another story. But uh, bottom line is we were there, and it's pivotal to our success, our chances of success this year is that we take that lesson and focus. Use all that emotion, use all that uh, energy, but focus on one play at a time and see if we can't uh, have a better result.